Hey guys, it's Tim here, and uh, today I'll be reviewing AI Tribes, which is a platform that allows you to create websites like you're seeing right here. A website that allows you to build communities with groups that you're seeing right here. So inside of a group, you can set this up as free or as a paid group for premium members. Uh, you can build your community inside of a group like this. Uh, you can see points like gamification, which you can add to this platform. Uh, you can see all your members. You can write blog posts. You can also set up events. You can uh, create courses, also sell products through this platform. There's a leaderboard with the gamification, etc. So all of this is inside one platform. You can create multiple of these uh, platforms inside of one platform. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full review. But in case you're interested, make sure to check out the link in the description. Uh, it will redirect you to my website where you can find more information about this product, about the pricing, available coupons. Also, my bonuses that I'm going to give you if you pick this up through my link. So make sure to check out that link. For now, let's dive into this and let me show you how it works. So right now I'm logged in into AI Tribes and basically what you will be doing is you'll be setting up communities here. And what I just showed was one community. This was the community that you just saw here. So this is the community. When I click home here, this is a community that you set up and that's basically one community. So you can set up different communities inside of your dashboard. You can run this for multiple clients as well. You can sell these communities to your clients, but basically it works super simple. Also, it called, it's called AI tribes, uh, which means that they've implemented AI to do a lot of writing stuff for you. So you simply click on new community. And from here, you can set up a community like you're seeing right here. This is the website that you just saw. So you can give this a name, a description, a community URL, and you can also host this on your own domain if you like to. Predefined colors in here. Also, what you can do when you set up a community here, and this is where the AI comes in. When you set AI here, you can set, enter a community niche name, a language. So these are the languages that are supported and the number of posts. So you can say, for example, I want to have six posts about a specific topic. And then you can hit save. And that means when you do that, it automatically writes posts about that. So when I open one of these communities, like I showed you here, you can see that these posts have been written and these have been written by AI. So Basically, you can start with a community that has already AI members, not real members, so that you don't have to start from scratch if you don't like to. And of course, you can also start from scratch if you like to, but if you like to have some help so that your forum is not empty, your community, you can already have these posts created by AI. Now, I've already set up a community, so I go to this community. So basically, you need to go to a specific community to start editing this. So when I go to actions here, you can edit the community or you can customize the community. So we go to customize community. And from here, you can manage everything inside of one community. So for example, here, the courses. The products, the members, the groups that you create, the events and the blog posts and the sales that you can see. So everything is here under these tabs available. So for example, let me show you the website so that you understand how it works. So here at the left side, we can see courses and products. So when people scroll through their community, they see, hey, they also have courses and products. When I go to this area, you can see here that there are here three courses available that you can purchase for $147 for $47. And there are also products listed in here that you can buy. Now that's what you set up here in these tabs. So when I go to the courses here, you can see that these are the three courses that you just saw here. So these are these three courses that I've set up. So when you want to create a new course, you simply click on create new course, and then you can set up your new course. And once you set up your course, you can, for each course, a course which you select here, you can also add, add lessons to the course. So here, when you click on create lesson, you can say, I want to have a content lesson, a video lesson, an AI lesson, or an AI custom prompt lesson. So 
that's where the AI comes in again. You can say, for example, I want to have an AI lesson. And from here you can say, okay, what is the course topic you would like to have uh, a course written about? So you can say balanced life and you can say, I want to have five lessons up to 10 lessons that are being written for you. So I've already done this and here you can see these five lessons have been written for me. And when you go to actions here, you can go to edit uh, where you can edit this course. So this has been written as you can see here. And of course you need to modify this because this is one bulb of text that you're seeing right here. Uh, but you can let the AI do the work for you. You can uh, say, okay, I want to have a text type, but if you want to change this, you can also do an audio lesson here uh, where you can add an audio URL. Now you need to host this URL yourself also with the video lessons. That's something that you need to host yourself. So when we switch this back to video here, you need to add a YouTube or a Vimeo, Vimeo URL in order to get it shown. And then you can say, okay, I'm gonna save the lesson and then your lesson will be stored in here and the users can go through the lesson. Now you can also drip feed this. When you go to drip feed, you can also say, hey, I wanted to have a drip feed status here, lesson completed, a day interval, a specific date here. Uh, here you have where you can choose from the different lessons that you have in here. And you can set this as a drip as well. So this is how you set up your courses. The next thing is the products inside of your community. So here you can see I've created three products in here and that are the products that you're seeing right here. These are the three products. So when I go here, you can see also, oh, sorry, uh, you can also see here uh, when I click on this image, you go to the product here and people can purchase this directly. And let me go back here. And also you can decide the stars as well. So when you create a product here, you can simply set up here the product name, the description, your product description. You can set the amount in here, the product image, and also the star rating. So let's say you give five stars, then five stars will be added there as well. And that's how you set up the products part inside of your area here, as you can see here. So we have the courses here at the top we have the products here as well. Then also we have groups, blogs, events, and leaderboards. So the next one here is the members. Now that speaks for itself. You have all the members in here uh, where you can see all the information from these members. And you can also set the status of a member in here. You can also assign a group. You can view the sales for each member. Um, and the group means that if they have to pay for uh, a course, for example, or for to, to be in a specific group, you can change the groups inside of the settings here as well. Next thing is groups. So let's talk about groups. What are groups? Well, here you can see that I've set up three groups and you can see this is public and these two are private. So I's, I've set up a fitness enthusiast here, which is free premium members and platinum members. So when you go back to your website, we go back to home here, you can see here that these are these three groups that I've set up. So here you see fitness enthusiast, which is free premium members and platinum members. So they can click here to join and then uh, it will be pending in the back end. But already joined this one here. You can see the amount of posts that are in here. Uh, but the cool thing is, let me actually open this in an incognito window. There you go. That when there are new members in here, when they click on join here, look what happens. They need to sign in or they need to create an account. So that means they fill out their name, their email address, their password, that you will be building your list automatically also from new members that are signing up to your community. And once they have signed up, then they can join the group. So once they click on that, they will be in that specific area. So remember three groups, this was the first one, fitness enthusiast, which was the free one. We are now in the free group here uh, where we can talk about things. And this is just like you see communities on Facebook here. Uh, you have comments, you have likes, so you can like each of these posts. You can comment on each post here. So super cool. For example, uh, you can also add here images, emojis. So let's reply this. And now you can see this super cool. I've responded to Kyla here, which in this case was an AI post. So this is a group, but as you can see here, you can also set up premium groups. So let's edit and modify a group. So inside of a group here, look at all these settings that you're seeing right here. And actually let me move myself to the left. 
You can schedule posts, you can uh, set the group setting, email notification, custom scripts, Facebook shares, you can approve members, etc. So once people try to join this group, you can go to the approve area to approve these members. So when I added this group, you can see here, you can set this to public or to private. You can upload a custom logo, you can upload a custom banner, you can uh, give this group a name, give this a short description, etc. So you can also make these paid groups so that people have to pay in order to join a group like this. So uh, that is what you have inside of the groups. And then you can have all these posts. So here you can post, what are you thinking about? So you can do a text post, a photo post, an audio post, or a video post. And you can simply type here uh, so you can create a new post. So this is one of the posts that I just created here where I've added the photo, just did some typing here as an example. But you can see this way the community is being built. As you can see here also at the right side, uh, you can see here that we have a point system. So make a post to get five points, comment on a post to get two points, like a comment or post to get one point, upload a profile picture to get five points, mark a complete lesson to get 10 points, and viral share of a referral link, 10 points. So here is the referral link when people copy this and share this with other people and people sign up, they're also getting rewarded for these points. So this way you are building a community that likes to uh, have those points because there are leaderboards that you can do rewards for. So when I go to the leaderboard here, uh, you can see here that I already have six points because I shared posts, etc. This is me. And here you can have leaderboards uh, all time, weekly, monthly, etc. Uh, that people can visit as well in each of these areas. So here, for example, this is the premium members. And when I click on premium members here, uh, I cannot join because it's pending here. So the group admin will review your information. And here it says, join the premium fitness fanatics forum. So here you can see exactly uh, the description from these specific groups. Now there are so many settings on the inside. Um, like here, like I said here, you can see the group members, Facebook, custom scripts on these pages, uh, email notifications, etc. But also you can schedule posts and this is where the AI comes in. So let's say we wanna do in the free here. What we can do here is when we go to schedule posts in here, I can say, I wanna have the AI to write posts for me or you can do custom prompts as well where you can generate a custom prompt to write about health and fitness. So let's say health and fitness, I can say, I wanna have this in English or one of the other languages here. And I wanna create five posts. So in this case, let's do three. And I'm gonna hit save. Now, here it says enable the schedule post option to get the group settings to save the post. So I need to have a setting differently in my uh, settings, but I'm gonna show you how it works. So here, when you go to schedule post, your post will be in here, which you can schedule then later on in the scheduled posts. And actually, let me switch uh, environments. And actually, let me show you how it works. I went quickly to the group settings here. You just need to enable this, and there uh, you have to select a member. So I first need to assign myself as an admin inside of the software. So I go back to the members here. I go to myself here, and I can say, I wanna assign a group, or I wanna edit myself here. Or you can say, okay, here is the information. And then let's say I'm going to assign a group here. So no, I'm doing this wrong. I actually need to go here to the group itself and say group members here, where I can assign myself a role. So I can say here, I'm an admin or I'm a moderator. So let's say I'm an admin in here. I'm gonna save this. Now, when I go back here to the same settings, I go to the schedule post. Now I'm able here to select AI. I can say fitness to make it easy or you do the custom script. I'm going to say I'm going to throw three posts in here and I'm going to save this. And there you go. Now it says creating AI posts. Please wait. So let me get back once this is done. Oh, and it already it's already done. So you can see here the posts. You can see the status in here and you can say, okay, you can edit the post so you can check them here to what's in here. And probably you need to modify some parts here by giving some uh, spaces. And I'm saying this, uh, but 
it is not able to give spaces. So I think they need to fix this part because I would love to see some wide spaces in between here. Uh, but let's go back. Let me show you here so you can see scheduled post in here. Uh, schedule post you can say okay I'm selecting all these posts and now I'm going to schedule these posts so you can say I want to schedule these hourly daily weekly or monthly so let's say I want to do hourly and it's it can start today I'm going to hit save and now it's under the scheduled posts here that these are being scheduled under the posted content you can see which posts have been posted at the end so that's the whole schedule post, which you can do with AI in here. Now, the same thing here uh, is for blog as well. You can write blog posts as well. But first, let me show you the events part. So you can also set up events inside of AI Tribes. You simply click on create new event here, where you can give your event a title, a description, an image, a date. You can say what type of event, so a Google Meet, a Zoom, a webinar, or maybe a live event, where you can set the URL, the call to action and the event location. So the event location only shows when you have a live event here. Uh, and that's what you see on your website. So here, for example, when I go to events, you can see that I've set up one event here. This is called Fit Fest, which is an event which is happening here. You can see people can sign up here for the event. And that's what you see inside of the events tab in here. Now, then the next part here is the blog part where you can write blog articles so when i go back here i go to blogs you can see that these blogs here when i click on view all have been written so i can click on this you can see this is the blog post that has been written here you can write these blog posts in here so you can click on create blog here and then you can say i want to do a manual blog post or an ai blog post or an ai custom prompt blog so when i click on ai custom prompt blog i can say the category name is fitness here and then you can create your prompt here and you can say the number of posts and click on create and that will write the blog post for you now that's what i've done with these four these have been written for me by ai i simply did here uh the second option create ai blog post when you select that one you simply say the niche name and then it will write content for this specific niche and then it will update your blog just like you're seeing right here where you can see these blog posts now you need to add the images yourself i need to say that up front uh, but it will look like this so you have your blog here as well so in the sales part here you can see the total sales that you have uh, made through your products that you're selling through your website um, and yeah that is the main setup now there are way more settings remember that i sat here uh when i go to the dashboard or to the communities that i set up two communities so this was one community that you're seeing right here this is the whole community that we're looking at right now uh, but we also have another community here so this is crypto raider so when i visit this one you can see this is a total different community here about crypto radar which is also posts about crypto radar etc so inside of each community when i go to edit or customize community uh, when i go there here you also have all these settings so you have email notifications you can connect your autoresponder you have facebook shares you can add custom scripts you have a c name where you can add your own domain name so that it runs on your own domain name you get an embed qr code which means that you can also embed this whole community inside of your own website there are other settings so when i click on this uh, setting here look at this you have all these settings like manual payment uh, when you enable this section manual payment option will display in the checkout uh, right to left text direction gdpr settings here you can enable this uh, value added text so you can do the text in here the family font the events so for the events you can say when you enable the section events menu will not display in the community so if you do not like to have an event section here you can simply uh, disable it in here the leaderboard you can also uh, dis disable that part uh, same for your blog course etc default currency here us dollars so you can choose one of all the other options in here phone number required so you can also disable or enable that you can do the sign up what you want to do last name gender phone date of birth you can enable or disable that uh, the member count when you enable this section member count will not display in the community a phone number country here so these are other settings 
all these settings are in here. So it's, it's a huge platform that you're going to get access to. Um, privacy terms, gamification. This is one thing that I want to point out here because this is where you can reward your members that I showed at the beginning of this video. So you can create posts for a post uh, people get five points, but you can also say, you know, they get three points for a post or they're going to get seven points for a post. So you can fill this out yourself. For a comment, they get two points. Likes, they get one point. Viral share, 10 points because you want to have your blog po uh, shared or your community shared. A profile picture, five points. Lesson completed, 10 points. So you can set that in here and then you can create badges as well. So I've created these badges. So for example, fitness novice, a regular contributor uh, or an active participant or a fitness enthusiast, or then finally an elite athlete here. And you can also upload your own avatars. Now, one of my bonuses that I'm going to give you is a, a uh, avatar creator where you can create beautiful avatars for AI tribes, because by default, you get these images. So they're all the same. You have no avatars and that's missing. And I've filled that missing part for you. Uh, so make sure to check out that link in the description uh, in case you're interested. Make sure to get it through my link so you get that software as well. And then in the assign badges here, uh, you can assign the badges. So for example, uh, you can fill this out. When they have 10 points here, they become a fitness novice. So remember, we created these ourselves, a fitness novice. You can create them yourselves. You can also say here, I want to add a new status in here, uh, which you can give a batch name here. So here you can assign these batches. You can say, for example, when somebody has five points here, they become a fitness novice. When they have 50 points, they become a regular contribu contributor. When they have 100 points, they become an active participant. So you can set this up yourself. You can even add new ones. For example, when they have 1,000 points, uh, they and then you can set a new status here when you create a new batch in here. So And that is everything that they see here in the leaderboard. When you go to the leaderboard here, um, no, that's I'm wrong. I think you see the status here on the blog post. I'm wrong because this is leaderboard it's just for the points. I think it will be shown inside of the groups. Um, honestly, I'm not sure where you can see this right now. I haven't looked into that yet, but they can get different statuses as well. All right, so that's inside of the settings part here. Uh, then you have the integration, so you can also integrate with OpenAI. Now it comes with a bunch of credits that you can use. I haven't connected my own OpenAI key and I could do what I've done so far. Uh, you can connect your payment like PayPal, Stripe, RazorPay, manual payments, uh, your autoresponders. These are the autoresponders that are currently uh, supported at this moment. Webinar software, you can connect that and others. SMTP, Usine as well. Um, yeah, and that is how you manage everything inside of one community. Now, when you go to the community, you can see the communities in here, but you can also add clients and manage clients. So you can say, if you want to create new clients here, you click on new clients that can be inside of this community or these communities here. You can assign credits to them that they can use, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you can also switch when you have multiple clients here. Uh, you can see Crypto Raider here. Make sure you switch between those two uh, clients in here. You can see all the statistics in here uh, for these specific uh, communities. And that's basically what AI Tribes is all about. You get the overview on the dashboard in here. Um, but yeah, it's a big platform, as you can see. Uh, I hope that this gave you a good insight of the possibilities inside of AI Tribes. And uh, yeah, again, Check out that link in case you're interested. Uh, you support my channel, you support me. If you get that through my link, it helps me to create videos like this so you can see everything that you're going to be getting before you even purchase. Uh, so yeah, please hit a thumbs up. That helps me as well. And uh, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of similar, similar product reviews, marketing-related products mainly. Uh, so yeah, if that's interesting to you, make sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe, and I look forward to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.